eye injections have revolutionized the retinal disease treatment in the last two decades. Let me take you quickly through the journey of evolution of these eye injections and latest advancements in eye injections in the year 2025. I'm Dr. Shrutika Junagare Kankriya, retinologist and cataract surgeon at Asian Eye Hospital, Pune. All intravitreal or anti VEGF or eye injections fundamentally reduce the VEGF concentration or VEGF molecule inside the eyes. The first anti VEGF that got approved to be injected into the vitreous cavity or inside the eye was known as Macugen or Pegaptanib in the year 2004. This injection was effective but not very effective. It targeted only one subtype of VEGF isoform which was VEGF 165. It was a breakthrough but had limited effectiveness. Then, in the year 2006 and 2007, the game changers, that is Lucentis, Accentrix and Bevacizumab came up. Also, the biological names of the same are Ranibizumab and Bevacizumab. These drugs blocks all isoforms of VEGF with better visual outcomes. Then came Aflibarcept or Ilia in the year 2011. This anti-VEGF not only blocked all isoforms of VEGF A but also blocked VEGF B and PIGF. This molecule had better depth of action and longer duration of action. And now the most advanced that is phase 4 anti-VEGF drugs are Brolocizumab and Faracimab also known as Paginax and Webizumab. Brolocizumab or Paginax is a very small tiny molecule which ensures deeper penetration into the retina and longer duration of action. Faracimab or Vabizimo, which is the latest in anti-VEGF, has a dual action. It not only inhibits all VEGF A and VEGF B form, but also inhibits the angiopoietin 2. This ensures much efficient halt of the vascular leakage and inflammation inside the eye. Both these new generation drugs aim at reducing the frequency of injections with a longer duration of action. So this was the latest update on anti vegf injections. So if you have diseases like wet AMD, diabetic macular edema, proliferative diabetic retinopathy or retinal vein occlusion, do consult your retinologist for further information. Do like, share and subscribe for more information.